I don't know if you're the same as me, but I gave up on Netflix a long time ago. Every once, every six, seven months, if something new comes out, I might pay for a month. But very rarely. Now, I did pay the 10 quid for this month uh, because Kevin Hart's new film Lift came out. And what a travesty that was. What a waste of money. Uh, I regretted it as soon as I watched it. I was like, why did I pay 10 quid for that? Um, but while I was there, I found that they had a lot of Korean stuff on there. Um, so I've got a month of watching some good Korean stuff. Because for some reason, Korean stuff is just amazing. They've got great stories to tell. I watched um, a series called Bloodhounds. And if you haven't seen that, that is amazing it's like um it's about two boxers two young boxers so instead of like using martial arts and stuff like that it's it's just boxing and it, I, the story is brilliant as well uh, so i recommend going watching that on netflix um but by that i gave up on it a long time ago and i was just on ign now having a flick through and i found that the they're basically getting rid of the basic plan for people um who already have Netflix um, and it seems that the password crackdown has worked for them um, but they're on about the company's doing away with the it says $11.99 there in the UK I think it's $6.99 or $8.99 um, for the ad free option um, they're getting rid of that they're going to wind that down um, so basically Netflix now is going to cost a stupid amount of money and for the most people that watch Netflix don't watch it for the niche stuff i.e. like I said the Korean stuff people don't watch it for that so uh, I don't know I there's, everything I've seen up to now is just absolute trash you're just flicking through posters and you're flicking through and you're flicking through and at the end of it, I always just turn it off. And I end up putting something like, put, put, putting YouTube on. I'm just watching random junk. And I just think Netflix, how Netflix is surviving. I do not know. There's too many streaming services. You've got Amazon, you've got Netflix, you've got Disney, Hulu, ITV, um... I don't know if Channel 4 do a premium service. Then you've got on top of that, you've got Sky Sports, you've got Now TV, you've got, and there's so many. What was it? I was looking for one program the other day. What was it now? Uh, I can't remember what the program was. But I wanted to find it. And one streaming service had seasons, summer to summer, and another streaming service had seasons like summer to something so it's split over two streaming services so you'd have to you have to subscribe to two streaming services for the one show which is absolutely ridiculous you've also got apple tv um again that's the same as uh, netflix there's nothing on there but every now and again they bring out something decent so you'll pay the 6.99 for the month cancel it immediately watch what you need to watch and then bin it off uh, that's what I do. Now, a lot of people talk about uh, pirating's coming back. Me, I, I, I'm not a pirate. I just can't. I'm, I just can't do it. You know, like, if there's a good show and I want to watch it, then I'll pay for the month and I'll just watch that show because I hate the fact that people moan about seasons or um, shows being cancelled but you're pirating it. That's not going towards their viewership figures. So it's not counted. So to them it seems like nobody's watched it. But in fact lots of people have watched it. They just pirated the stuff. And I just think pirating is just... It's just it's like with games as well. I just think... If you like a game, buy the game. Pay for the game. Full price. I will only... A lot of people moan at me because I like Ubisoft. So like I will pay... When a Far Cry game comes out, I will find the money to buy that game brand new. And I will buy that game brand new because I want another one. 
So I'll put the money in for to know that another one might be coming down the line. Otherwise, I just wait for most games to come on sale if I'm not really that interested. But pirating it, I'm just not into it. I just don't like it. I don't like all this um, fire stick streaming and that. It's just, you know, what's the point? You not you not nobody's gaining from it. You're watching some. I was at a, f a friend's not so long ago. Um, I've not seen him for a while, and I went round and he said, "Oh, I've got one of these fire sticks. What do you want to watch?" I said, "Oh, nothing. I'm not really bothered." Like, and he put on um, he put on Aquaman two. That's what he put on, and it was it was just awful. <laughs> it was so awful. It was like it had been filmed in a cinema, but but it, they were enjoy. It was like, how can you enjoy that? How can you enjoy? Watching the what that quality, I just don't get it. I'm me personally. I'm a DVD buyer or a Blu-ray Blu-ray buyer. Or I'm a very physical person. I like me physical discs, as you can probably see behind me. I like me physical discs. I can't do pirating. I just don't like it. I just don't think anybody gains from it. Um. So the fact that anyway, Netflix is. Getting rid of the basic subscription plan, which is good for families that don't have a lot of money. Now they'll say have the ad, um, the ad version, which I think is around in England five six quid. But you know, it's ads ads. If I'm paying, why am I having? Why do I have to have ads? I've never understood that. Now TV do it. Now TV do it. Do it all the time. It's like. I'm pay you're paying nine ninety nine or eleven ninety nine for now TV cinema, and then there's about fifteen ads before the movie starts. Takes forever. It's not even in HD. They make you pay for that. They make you pay an extra. I think it's an extra four quid a month on top, so you can have it in HD. Why am I paying for HD? It's my broadband you're using. It's it, 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 the HD thing is from my side. If my broadband is more powerful enough to stream HD, why are you charging me for it? I, I I will never understand that. You've got one copy of it and it's shipping out down a cable. Why you're charging for high definition? I, I, I still don't get that at all. So it's just weird. I just hate streaming services. I think the quality uh, when you watch a movie on a streaming service i think the quality is crap anyway and then you're always disrupted by some kind of buffering or it just ruins the whole experience and the sound on streaming services is awful especially netflix the sound is just horrendous you're better off just buying a nice cheap blu-ray player or if you've got an xbox or a ps5 even an xbox one Buy a cheap Blu-ray player and just buy Blu-rays because the quality and the sound is just so much better. Yeah, so Netflix is phasing out its basic plan. So if you had no money before, you're going to have even less. <laughs> Leave a like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.